Oh, I'm delighted really with, to get 2-1 series win over a, a fantastic Indian side and you've seen I think through the whole eight games the competitiveness of the, the two teams and I guess in the T20s the, you've seen three relatively close games um, right throughout and look it's nice to win when you put under the pressure like that right at the end. A oh, little bit of both. I, I was really, really pleased tonight with how we fielded because I thought that was actually the difference in the game. Um, I, I think in, in a tough conditions out there as well because it was just a little bit dewy on top then we really held, held our nerve well. And then I think some of the guys that have come into the team or relatively new, the, your Tim Seifert's, um, Daryl Mitchell's, uh, I thought Blair Tickner was very good tonight as well. And the likes of those guys, I think, getting a taste or more of a taste at international cricket and showing that that they can succeed here, I think is, is really positive for our, our depth as we build towards the 2020 World Cup. I like his runs for a start. <laughs> um, look, I, I think that Colin, um, it, it showed how devastating he can be tonight. And I mean, there's been a, a fair bit of talk and speculation around Colin and, and his place going forward in the team. But tonight, I think, showed what he is capable of. And, Let's not forget, he's, I think he's still ranked number two in the world for, for T20 cricket. So when you have someone that can be destructive like that, I mean, it's great that he's on our team. Uh, well, that's further down the track. We'll still take a look at that. But again, I mean, Colin showed how, how destructive he can be. And so um, we're giving Henry a go in, in the first two matches. And um, we, wanna, we want to see more of him. And I guess it's good to have those options when we, when we look further down the track as well. Uh, we haven't, we, when we get to the World Cup, I guess we'll make that call at the time depending on who we think is the right team to play. But I guess all we're trying to do is cover our options and bases as well. And as I said, we liked what we saw in Henry Nichols, but at times we've really liked what we've seen in Colin Munro as well. So um, I, I hope we can keep looking at current form and where people are at and, and I hope they keep making it tough for us, both of them. Yeah, they did. I thought, well, Daryl got a, a run in all three games and we put him at a, a reasonably key sort of position at number four in the order and then he also I guess bowled some probably more overs than I was expecting overall but the thing I really liked about Daryl and, and, and what he bought was a real competitiveness and, and I think if you didn't know if it was a black shirt or a pink shirt he was wearing it looked like the same player and I think that's really encouraging stepping up to the next level. Blair got his run tonight and, and I thought he, he bowled really really well again under in tough conditions he well, one up top of the over and then three sort of through the middle a bit more, but he held his nerve and, um, yeah, again, he, he, he performed really well and it's great that, again, we're building some depth there. I thought it was fantastic. Um, I think for, for the women's game, for a start, when uh, seeing more people come in and even if it's at the end of the game, they're, they're getting placed under more pressure because of that as well and for them to, to keep growing their skills before they go to a World Cup is important. Um, I thought the time in between games wasn't a factor really at all. We, we had, I think, the first one was slightly shorter preparation time, but we probably played our best game then as well, so it makes me think maybe we warm up too long. <laughs> he's, he hurt his knee, and, and I don't think it's too serious, but he's just had some pain in his knee, so he's getting, he'll be assessed tomorrow, but the view is he'll still be available for, for Auckland and on Friday and then come back with us for the third ODI. Uh, well, really, really pleased again with Tim's and, and how he's gone. Um, he got a go at the top of the order, and, and that may not have happened if, if Martin Guptill was, was fit and didn't hurt his back as well. So I guess it's, it's an opportunity that he's taken with both hands, and, and again, really, really pleased with, with that for him. Um, look, where he goes in the future, well, that depends on how, he, how hard he works and, 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 I guess, opportunities that come in front of him, but certainly pleased with what I saw. Yeah, if we can, I think. Um, look, we, we've had similar plans right throughout ODI cricket from, I guess, from when I've started right through to now, and they didn't, we didn't necessarily execute them that well versus India all the time. Um, so I think we need to just be really clear on what we're trying to achieve. And almost, it's almost for me about putting the opposition aside and saying this is the way we want to play our cricket and getting out there and doing that. Yeah, well, Kane's having a rest for the last one. Again, that was something that's been pre-planned for a while, so he gets a, a couple of extra days off rather than coming down to Dunedin. Um, look, we're, we've picked 13 at a time, so two people are going to have to miss, and, and who they are at this stage, I'm not 100% sure. We'll look at the conditions when we get to Napier. and, and, and But we'll, we'll pick what, which team we think is the right team to, to play to win each game.
Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.